hi friends welcome to my channel and this is windows server 2019 training video and i'm going to start this series today and this is first video in this series so microsoft released windows server 2019 on 2nd october 2018 for general purpose use and download so you can go ahead and download windows server 2019 from microsoft website and microsoft uh, launched this uh, 2019 and the same three edition which is earlier on Windows Server 2016 so data center standard and essentials so these are the three um, edition which you can get for Windows Server 2019 and 2019 is from Microsoft side it's focus on th uh, four ba uh, four main things which is hyper converged HCI infrastructure and the application platform where you can run the applications as a platform and a hybrid and last security so we are going to see all these things in details and how we can achieve this hyper converged application deploy hybrid and security on server 2019 so this is going to be a long uh, series so so you need to stay tuned and watch all the videos if you want to do the lab hands on lab on server 20 uh, server 2019 and you wants to get uh, learn all the features which is available on 2019 so we are going to do everything like active directory wds w source backup replication hyper v cluster everything we are going to do and <coughs> uh, one by one so uh, let's discuss about the pricing and licensing overview so uh, based on three editions you can see here from windows over 2019 it's come in three uh, three editions data center standard and, and initials so you can see data center is high highly basically it's recommended for highly virtualized and software defined data center environment uh, basically you can buy a data center in first uh, data center edition where you want to run a, a multiple virtual machines uh, on the op uh, on the physical machine so you can buy the data center edition for your physical machine and then you you can run uh, multiple virtual machines on that host so this license is a uh, based on core based so um, it's going to be on your physical cpu core based license and the price is around um, 6000 usd you can say for now uh, if you if you talk about windows server 2019 and the standard is low density and non virtualized environment so standard is um, basically going to be not uh, not recommended for where you want to run multiple virtual machines on a stand on the on your physical host so it's non virtualized environment is recommended and low density where you you want to run a basically um, a small range of servers and they don't have to um, go for a hyper converged infrastructure and any like anything uh, where you want to run the hypervisors so this is a standard um, addition which is low density and non virtualized environment this is also you can see the core base and if you compare with the data center edition it's going to be very less you can say uh, it's around uh, 882 USD and last one is essentials which is for a small business and it's it's up to 25 users and uh, 50 devices and this is going to be your server based license and uh, it's around five uh, 500 USD so what does mean by server based license so you can buy this uh, windows server 2019 based on server like if you want to run uh, install this initiate uh, essential on one server you can buy you are, you don't need to um like think about the processors code and everything you can buy license as per server physical machine on which you want to install this uh windows server 2019 and these are the some core feature which we are going to compare in data center and standard so since uh essential is for a small business so we are not going to compare definitely it's going to be less uh, if you compare with the standard so we are going to compare data center a standard which are going to be main difference in these two operating systems additions so so both are core 
core functionality of windows server having data center in standard so uh, uh, so both are having to uh, uh, going to have uh, all the role and feature which is available for windows server 2019 like active directory hyper-v everything is similar it's not going to have any code dif core features difference between if you buy data center standard so it's going to support all the things which is going to be uh, uh, if you compare with role and features and data center and standard so uh, both are going to support like hyper-v active directory uh, w source all the features so uh, core functionality of windows server for data center standard is going to be same and the ser server container with hyper-v isolation so in data center you can see it's unlimited so you can run multiple uh, server containers or virtual machines but uh, this is going to uh, standard is going to support two only so windows server containers without hyper-v isolation so um, if if you compare uh, um, containers you can run multiple containers without hyper-v so you can see it's going to be both uh, in unlimited so we are going to do all these things in labs and we'll see how, how we can do this and host guardian services it's supported by data center and standard also so host guardian services is something you can protect your uh, operating system virtual machines which is running on hyper-v host and which is going to be used by shielded virtual machine so and storage feature including storage space direct access and storage replica this is going to be a uh, uh, one of the main difference between data center and standard so uh, standard operating system does not support um, like direct sp storage space direct or storage replica feature it's not going to support anything um, like these two advanced feature which windows server going to be have and standard edition so if you want to use this storage space direct or storage replica you must need to go with the data center editions and also shielded virtual machine is only supported by data center edition it's not going to support if you having standard operating system and network stack network virtualization uh, network label um, stacking is not supported by standard it's supported by data center only so for sure if you want to use the maximum feature of windows server 2019 you have to go with the data center if you want to use all the advanced feature but uh, when you are deciding for the buying the license you have to make sure what features you need to um, use in your production so you can you can um, <coughs> think about all the all the things and then you can go and buy the license if if you require really require data center edition then go for data center edition because it's a um, cost wise it's higher so if you don't require such advanced feature you can go and buy simply standard uh, edition and you will get all the core functionality of windows server on that also in addition uh, standard edition also so you need to think twice before buying uh, uh, edition which edition you need to buy so next what I'm going to do in this video and in this all training so um, most of the uh, things we which we are going to do in this training is going to be a, your lab based training and lab based demos so uh, to give you the lab based demo and training I'm using uh, the f my physical machine which having uh, Intel Core i7 uh, processor which is a 7th generation processor and let me show you so I have uh, this machine in place so this is Windows 10 you can see my physical machine having Windows 10 so this is Windows 10 um, uh, 1809 and it's having 7th generation processor extreme series processor and install memory is 20 uh, 128 uh, gig and uh, this is about the physical machine physical uh, RAM and processors and a part of this I have uh, 1 TB USD drive SSD drive here which I'm going to use to store my virtual machines so this is going to be my SSD to store my virtual machine and run from there and on this I have my workstation installed you can see here if I go here you can see this is running uh, VMware workstation 14.0 14 Pro so this is uh, running um, professional edition of 
uh, VMware Workstation 14 and on this I am going to have multiple virtual machine which you can see from here also like like you can see here I have multiple virtual machine created on this and I'm going to run all these virtual machine to give you the demo about uh, Windows Server 2019 so so we'll see how we can do all the labs and how we can use maximize uh, uh, training on Windows Server 2019 and we'll see all the features all the roles and um, advanced technology which is going to be used in 2019 and what it's make difference from Windows Server 2016 and 2012 R2 to 2019 so this is all about in this introduction video so thank you for watching and please subscribe me for more videos and if you have any query any question regarding this video you can always post me in my given mail IDs. Thank you once again. Bye bye.